welcome to another video. Uh, so we're back at the gym and uh, today is the second to last session before we go to Spain. So I'm hoping that uh, everything will feel a little bit better. Uh, hopefully this session will give a little bit more confidence. Uh, I'm gonna try the, the pink one again. And uh, what are you gonna try? I think I might try the white one I did last time. Or I'm gonna do something easier, I don't know. The white? Or right when I did the, in the last vlog. I think you should try the white one. Again? Yeah. No. You should try, your goal should be to do it to the first anchor, I think. To the first what? Anchor. Yeah. Up to the roof. Yeah. I think that's very possible. It probably is. I think uh, I should be able to do that. So, you're gonna try that today then? Yeah. Yeah. Today, just do a couple of routes. We're just gonna try this white one, uh, it's a new one. And then uh, jump on the pink. And uh, I hope that it will feel a little bit better because my last try uh, the other day was uh, terrible. But I was pretty tired after all that bouldering for the 100th vlog. Did you feel warmed up? I feel, I think that was more than a warm up though. 80 plus onside is like pretty hard. But uh, it's uh, it's fun to onside, you know, I can't do that so often. But they just set this route, so I've never tried it before. Never seen anyone on it before. But I got pretty pumped. It looked hard. All right, now it's your turn. It's my turn. One. Yes. 
I'm here with my brother. Hello. We're gonna do the voiceover both of us this time. You can see Olaf's high point here. I'm excited to see if you uh, get past this. Yeah, I'm excited too. Clipping the first draw, that's good. Safety first. And you know there are a lot of different ways to clip, right? You can also put your finger in the draw and that way it's still, because it's, it's like dangling a little bit. Okay. And this time you wrapped your hand around it and that's also good. But you can also put your finger into the draw. Okay, that before way you take still. the rope? Like, yeah, like take, this, yeah. and then you put in the rope with your thumb. Okay, I'll try that next time. But your clips look a lot smoother than last time. Yeah. And also your climbing, I would say. I felt more safe doing it, because I already did it once. Yeah. So just, I felt a little more comfortable. I felt like my breathing was better. I felt like I uh, had a little bit more energy. You knew what was coming up since you yeah. already tried it. And at this point, were you tired? At this point, I actually wasn't tired. That's the weird thing. Last time, I was really tired. But right here, I felt like everything was going smooth. When I get to this one, I felt some pump in my uh, right hand, I remember. Like, my right hand was pretty pumped right there. My left hand wasn't bothering me that much, but my right hand was uh, was getting a little bit tired. But did you try to shake your right hand? Probably should have done it more, but I don't really know where I should have rested. It just hang there, and I was like, oh, this is... Uh, often when you get pumped, that's when you should try to climb fast, you know? Uh, yeah. Because the instinct tells you to slow down when you get tired, mm -hmm. but I think it's probably smarter to do it the other way around. It's easy to say, it's harder to do. Yeah. But all in all, pretty good, huh? Yeah. So, uh, let's uh, put in the new high point. The scratchy old one. <laughs> <laughs> so how did it feel this time? It felt better. I felt like I, I did better because I already got it once, so. I think it went a little bit better, but as I said, my conditioning is so bad. Your endurance, you mean? I am endurance. Yeah. So if I get that little bit up, I think it would be a lot easier. Yeah. Did it look better or? It looked a lot better, yeah. yeah. So, the, the clips are still a bit tricky, it seems like. Yeah. It Maybe takes a little bit of time, I guess. Practice clipping a little bit. Also, where, like, what position to clip from. Yeah, so more probably more, uh, yeah. more, uh, but the best way to learn that is just by climbing a lot, I yeah. think, so. We felt better than this time than the last time. So. That's good. All right, I think I'm gonna jump on the pink one now. Yeah, I'll film that. Uh, I fixed my GoPro up there. So now we'll have two angles. So that when the footage is shaky or you can't see anything from up there, we switch to this angle. So hopefully a better film than last time. Okay, so we are still here and I'm gonna comment my route. My brother is still here. I don't know if he has something to say. <laughs> maybe I have, I don't know. Maybe, maybe yeah, we'll he can give me some pointers. Yeah. And today I felt a lot better than the other day. Um, I almost felt too strong. You know, when you feel really strong, you want to control every move and uh, it's not the best way to climb, I think. And it's even, it used to be the same with me in competitions, you know, and I felt really strong. Sometimes I climbed really bad because I wanted to control everything because I felt like I could. But when I didn't feel good, I was just taking chances and I was really going for it. And usually that would get me higher than when I felt really strong and wanted to control everything. So this move again, this move have felt sketchy like almost every time, but this time it felt pretty secure. And this tiny crimp again. I don't like that crimp and it's a high foot. And you have to be careful there not to knee bar that left yellow hold. So taking that bad guest on, but as soon as you come into it, it's a really good hold. And uh, this is the first resting position. So uh, switching to the GoPro footage, the resting, and it's always hard to say how much you should rest, you know, uh, but usually you don't need as much rest as you think, I feel like. So 
That's a pretty high clip, but I do that just because I don't want to clip at the later stage because all the next moves are pretty hard and would be difficult to clip from. It's a huge throw uh, that always feels sketchy. Here is when I really started to feel really good. I was like, oh, I'm up here and I'm not like that pumped really. And I know what to do, unlike the last time when I kind of messed it up. So you put your right foot out, you cross in and it's a weird cross and you have to let go of your foot and uh, you have to take the swing. And then you get a good heel hook in the volcano. And this next part is actually a little bit easier, I feel like. Like it probably doesn't look that easy, but compared to the beginning and the end, this part here is not too bad. So I feel like I can rest a little bit here, uh, especially right here where I am now. I have this volcano and it's a pretty good sloper on my left hand. So I try to do as many clips as I can from that position. Um, and uh, just resting a little bit. This is what I mean, I feel almost too strong. So I decide to rest in positions that I should not rest in. Do that clip and that's like one of the last easy clipping positions. From here on out you just need to really go for it. Okay so this is the crux coming up here. So you move out your foot, you grab this tiny little pinch and you go for the guest on. I'm gonna play that again. Wapala. Play it from the GoPro. Okay, so I think that was it. Voiceover off. Oh, I got really pumped all of a sudden, but it was good. Like I felt so much better than last time. So yeah, it's it's good. I mean, it's it's good for Spain. And uh, uh, we're gonna do one more session tomorrow, so yeah, I have one more session to get fit. And then it's Spain, can't wait for Spain. Can't wait to get like away from all this cold weather. But yeah, I think we're just gonna end the vlog now and hopefully post another vlog very soon. Last day of climbing before Spain. Um, so as always, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe with notifications on. And uh, we will see you in the next video. Last session before Spain. Let's go!